In the past six months, I have followed every single ChatGPT and Google Bard website that gives you away prompts and resources. Today, thousands of content creators and influencers are using these prompt templates to generate content, attract foreign freelance clients, and brainstorm better ideas. But most of them never reach their full potential. In today's video, I will be showing you an AI tool that can not only make you a social media genius, but also help you save time in brainstorming, creating proposals, and attracting better jobs because this one single platform can help you ideate, write content and design social media assets all in one single place. In fact, they have a library of AI bots that can help you save a lot of time. There is a lot to cover so without wasting any further time, let's get started. So the name of the app is called Okoya and you will find the link in description. You can get this app from this website called AppSumo. If you go to AppSumo.com, they have like a huge library of multiple applications that can help you save time in your content. And all of these are available for lifetime. So there's a one-time fee for it. The best part is that they have a 10% discount going on because of their Black Friday sale. So if you're interested in getting this tool, Go to AppSumo, get it on a discount and you will have it for a lifetime. I'll share all the details in description. Once you have created your account, this is how the user interface looks like. On the very left side, you first have your planner where you can plan your posts. You also have a social media calendar, which I'll cover later. But the crazy part here is that once you go on socials, you can actually connect your social media profiles. In this case, I have connected my LinkedIn. Now, if I were to go to AI tools right here, you have a post generator that can help you create text posts. It can create image posts. They also have this thing called as a prompt library where you have so many bots predefined for every single popular use case. So you have assistance, you have it for education, you have it for social media, you have for marketing. There are some that are just evergreen and just popularly used in social media. So there are so many agents or these AI assistants already prompted and created and practiced for you. So all you need to do is click on them and start using them. Now there are four features that I will cover today. The first one is around using AI to design posts. So I will go to my post generator and then on the very right side you have this button that says create with AI. As soon as I do that it asks me to describe your post. Below that you have three filters. So you either have specific templates and by default it has selected all of the templates. So I can deselect them and maybe I want to have something which is very very bold. right? So I can choose this one, this one uh, right here and maybe this one. Then in my social network, I can decide where all am I going to post this. So let's just say I'm going to post this on LinkedIn and just LinkedIn because I've connected my LinkedIn right here. Now in my source image, you can upload your own images. If not, I can just start making my post right now. So I can say a post promoting my next AI meetup in Delhi on 2nd December. And then I will click on create. And now you can see AI working its magic. All right, so now I have three variations in front of me and they actually look pretty solid. I really like the middle one. I had not put in my own image, that's why it has added a random image. But if I were to click on the edit button right here, now it has created a post, like a caption for the image. And then here in my design editor, I can actually go and choose different templates. So let's just say if I click on the preview button right here, right? You have the image, you have the post, I can add more images if I wanted to. But here in my plugin, I can actually search through different sizes as well. So if I had say connected my Twitter, I could have clicked on the Twitter post and then it would now recommend me more templates, more design guidelines that are only for Twitter. So because I had selected a Twitter post of 1024 into 512, pixels now it will come with a lot of templates and this is very very similar to you know all the graphic design tools that we have out there but the entire ui is very easy to understand so let's just say that i go to the left side and maybe i select say this one right here right all i have to do is take this and drag it onto the canvas as soon as i do that it takes a few seconds and then the entire image becomes editable which means that the template remains, but now I can edit text on my own. I can add in my own images. So for example, instead of creative writing, I can say AI meetup. And then I can say here, Ansh Mehra's AI meetup. Here I can double click and write Delhi, join me on 2nd December. 
and then here I can write www dot how to prompt dot in, right? And if I want to delete something, I can just take this and delete it. And let's just say that I want to replace this image right here, right? So if I double click on it, I would enter cropping mode. If I were to click on this rectangle and go to insert image, now you can actually upload your own personal image as well. So if I were to choose any of my DPs, I can actually have my own face right inside this template. I can take any of these files and, you know, put in my own face, change the text. If I were to select any of these items as an editor on the very top. So for people who don't want to spend a lot of money on hiring designers, who don't want to like go through all the complicated tools can use something like this and quickly get good designs. Now, if I were to click on this save button right here, it will allow me to save this either as an HD PNG or you can choose between any other format. So it can also be, uh, you know, in either a standard definition or a high definition. If I were to click on close, I will come back to this thing right here. So if I had clicked on saved, it would have been added here. But right now I just have this one single image right here. Now, the most interesting part here is that it can either create templates from scratch or you can put in your own images, your own data and fine tune it. So in this example, I had already generated something by default and I swapped images. This is the easiest way to create social media assets quickly that are good looking and easy to scale because now you don't have to think about your color schemes and typography. You can just get a template from AI and edit it according to your own use. On feature number two, I will show you Okoya's prompt library, which has a bunch of use cases that can help you save time and write better content. To access their prompt library within AI tools, click on prompt library and now you have so many things to work from. For example, if you're a mid journey artist, right? If you click on mid journey prompts and click on this use prompt button right here, it will actually have a mini chat GPT session open on the right side. Now the setup has already been done, right? So all you need to do is a boy in a car, right? Now, as soon as I press enter, it will already start having a conversation with me. So the engine already knows that it has to create mid journey prompts. So now what I have to do is I just have to give a simple prompt and it will automatically start creating prompts for me. So I said a boy in a car and here you go. We have a cool mid journey prompt with me. It understands aspect ratio. It understands the versions. Now at any point, if you feel that, no, maybe I don't want version five, maybe there's a version 5.2 or six, you can always swap, but you can obviously imagine the amount of time this can save for you. You can access your chat history as well. And if I were to go to my prompt library again, you can see there are so many things that you can do here. If I were to go to best advice for personal growth and click on use prompt again, you will again have a very, very cool agent inside chat GPT. So all I have to do is click on generate and it will start sharing advice for personal growth. So this would give you like really inspirational quotes. This is not about having a conversation, but now this is for social media. So because this is for social media, this can keep giving you ideas again and again. And the more you click on generate, the more ideas you will get. And you know, it just helps you get a kick started, helps you start from some level rather than, you know, starting from scratch. Now the list is extremely massive because they not only have agents for writing captions, but they have it for ad assistance, what not to do and what to do, topics that change my life. Basically, all of these are extremely useful for people who are making content across YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever it may be, because all of these bots are trained by default. So you don't have to go through the entire tedious process of, you know, building a bot and then prompting on feature number three is e-commerce integration. Now, if you're someone who is already very ahead inside their content creation game or their startup game, you would already have your Zapier integration sorted. So Zapier is a tool that can help you automate a lot of things, right? Whether it's posting, whether it's triggering a specific item, whether it's triggering a certain email. So all of those things happen through Zapier. Now we will not cover Zapier today, but I just wanted to include this segment for folks who already are using Zapier in their day-to-day -day workspaces, who are already using Make. So Make is also for automatic, you know, post creation and scheduling. So you can have small, small triggers that can automate your entire social media calendar. Now, if you already have all of these things in your workspace, you can connect your Zapier or Make inside Okoya and streamline your entire content engine very, very easily. On feature number four, we have automatic scheduling. So let's just say that I want to pre-plan my entire content for LinkedIn for the next one week, right? I can come back to my AI tools 
click on post generator and either choose any of these templates or if I were to go to my copywriter I can go here and pick a template so as soon as I click on pick a template you have so many copywriting templates by default right so they also have frameworks so instead of making it about social media they have a pain agitate solution framework they also have an AIDA framework which is like you know these are very small small tips and tricks that a lot of influencers use to get attention so let's just say that I click on pain agitate solution which is like a template for writing content I can have the AI think about the topics that I want to make a post on so let's just say write about how designers can get better freelance clients okay as soon as I click on generate, it will now come up with posts that follow the entire golden rule for writing copy that converts, right? This entire framework. So now I have five different variations and it starts with the pain. It's difficult for designers to find high paying freelance clients. Not having good clients means struggling to make and then you have solutions. So I can take pain and agitation and copy this right here and then create a post out of it. Right. So now if I were to click on copy, it would be copied to my clipboard. Otherwise, if I click on create a post, I can directly enter my post creator. Once I do that, I have to choose the social media that I want to post this to. So right now I will select my LinkedIn. I can get rid of the pain. I can get rid of agitate and probably instead of dribble, I will have my own platform right here. Right. So let's just say that this is a dummy copy. I can add my own image as well. And if I click on preview, you will see how it would look on that specific social media. So let's just say that I want to schedule this. I don't want to post this now. I want to put this maybe two days from now. I can go and click on schedule for later. And then I can either do it tomorrow in two days. There are shortcuts for that. Otherwise, you can choose a specific date on the calendar. Let's assume I select 18th. Then I can also select the time and press on done. And once I do that, if I click here, I can either delete it or save it. So let's just say that I want to schedule it. I'm done with it. I want to schedule it. Now this post is scheduled on the top, bottom right corner. You have this notification. And if I click on view calendar, I will have access to my entire social media calendar. So I can see that on Saturday, November 18th, my LinkedIn post is sorted. Now you can obviously see how useful this can be for a person who's just getting inside content creation or, you know, building his or her own business, because now you don't have to hire a bunch of people. You can use a tool like Okoya and have your copywriting, your brainstorming, your social media content, your design, your scheduling, every single thing in one single place. The best part is that the user interface is very easy to use. So as you saw, there's not a lot of complication going on. You don't have to be like a very, very intelligent prompt engineer, right? But one very important thing to note is that you can't directly use these outputs and just throw them on social media, right? So the principles that we need to follow is that we first need to save time by using AI to come up with different, different ideas. Then we pick the idea that we feel is very relevant to our audience. Then we use a tool like Okoya to get some outputs. Then you see inside that output, what all can I pick? What all can I eradicate? Then you edit it in your own tone of voice. You put in your own personality and then you use Okoya to either design an asset, you know, like a complimentary image or just, you know, schedule a basic text post and have everything organized, neatly organized in a calendar, which, you know, is running on automation. Now, of course, there were a lot of features that I could have covered, but I haven't because I wanted to keep this tutorial very short and very crisp let me know in the comment section that out of all the four features that i discussed which one seemed the most useful and valuable to you you can get okoya from app sumo by going to the link in description let me know in the comment section if you want me to make more such videos where i can show you these cool cool ai tools that can actually help you save time and make better content or you know just have a better freelancing career if you're here for the first time make sure you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon because we regularly make videos on ai tools ux design upskilling and just making more money in general with that being said i hope that you're taking care of your mind and body this this is your dost Anj Mehra signing out. If you like this video, make sure you click on like and hit the subscribe button. I regularly upload videos on UX design, marketing and storytelling.